Today, together, we will journey into the world of luxury and splendor belonging to the Greek princess of the Glucksburg dynasty, the cousin of reigning and former crowned heads of Europe, Olga of Greece and Denmark. The fate of the eldest daughter of Greek Prince Nicholas and his consort Elena Romanova was not the most enviable. On October 22, 1923, she married the brother of the king of Yugoslavia, Pavle Karadordovic. Her husband acted as regent for his underage brother, Peter II. After the signing of the Tripartite Pact and the invasion of Hitler's troops into Yugoslav territory, Pavle and his family were forced to flee, first to Greece and then to Egypt. In 1943, the Karadordovic couple was allowed to move to Johannesburg. Despite the reconciliation of the exiles with the British court, they always felt like outcasts among what seemed to be their own. But now is not the time to recount the trials of the Yugoslav monarchs without a throne. Let's take a closer look at the treasures from the jewelry box of the beauty Olga, Diamond Kokoshnik Tiara. This majestic crown adorned with sparkling diamonds and embellished with filigree reminiscent of grape clusters. Some elements of the tiara can be detached. For a long time, it was believed that this remarkable piece was created by the jewelry house Cartier. In 2020, it was discovered that this ornament was crafted by jewelers from the house of Shome. This Kokoshnik tiara was a wedding gift to Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna from her parents in 1902. Traditionally, the Grand Duchess presented this diamond crown to her eldest daughter Olga in honor of her wedding in 1923. The Kokoshnik tiara was a frequent adornment of its owner at many events until the 1960s. In 1960, Princess Olga loaned this diamond crown to her niece, Princess Maria Pia of Savoy, for the wedding ball of King Baudouin of Belgium. The current whereabouts of this tiara are unknown, but the Karadordevic family claims that the tiara was lost. Boucheron Diamond Tiara this shimmering diamond tiara was created by the jewelry house Boucheron in 1907 for Princess Maria Pavlovna Abamalik Lazareva. After her husband's death in 1916, she gifted this tiara to Pavle Karadordovic, her nephew and the brother of the King of Yugoslavia. Thus, this magnificent crown adorned with white and yellow diamonds found its place in Princess Olga's treasure trove. As the first lady of Yugoslavia, she often wore this tiara at official events including scandalous visits to Nazi Germany and Italy in 1939. This tiara was also featured in a series of portraits by Cecil Beaton. After Princess Olga's death, the Boucheron tiara was inherited by her son, Prince Alexander. For many years, this splendid jewel became the signature piece of his second wife, Princess Barbara von Unzu Liechtenstein. In the 2000s, this jewel was sold to the Tokyo-based art organization Albion Art Collection. Now the diamond tiara is exhibited in various exhibitions. Greek ruby parur. Every year, King George I of Greece purchased a rare pigeon's blood ruby for his wife, Queen Olga Konstantinovna, on their wedding anniversary. These exquisite stones formed the basis for creating the ruby parur, including a tiara, necklace, earrings, and brooches. The tiara has the shape of an olive wreath, symbolizing ancient Greece. It is adorned with diamond leaves and clusters of rubies. The length of the necklace can be adjusted by changing the number of links. After Queen Olga's death in 1926, the ruby set passed to her third son, Prince Nicholas. The second owner of this jewel was his wife, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna. Princess Nicholas, as the Grand Duchess was often called, lent this exquisite set to her daughters. However, in 1955 or 1956, to the great disappointment of her daughters, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna either gifted or sold this ruby set to her nephew, King Paul of Greece. The wife of the Greek monarch, Queen Frederica of Hanover, often wore this luxurious jewel at ceremonial events. After the death of King Paul in 1964, Queen Frederica presented the ruby set as a wedding gift to her niece, Danish Princess Anne-Marie. Since then, Queen Anne-Marie has become a true connoisseur of the Greek ruby parure, preferring this magnificent jewellery for almost 60 years. Let's continue our acquaintance with the jewellery collection of Princess Olga of Yugoslavia, which once was extensive and luxurious, Diamond Riviere. This unique ornament consists of 26 round diamonds set in gold and silver, and it was created around 1860. 
The original owner of this riviere was Grand Duchess Olga Konstantinovna. In 1923, she gifted this diamond riviere to her niece granddaughter, Princess Olga of Greece and Denmark, on her wedding. This necklace often complemented Princess Olga's diamond tiaras or the Boucheron tiara, adding even more sparkle to her ensemble. Ultimately, in the late 1970s, Olga gifted this riviere to her niece, Barbara von und zu Liechtenstein. In 2006, the necklace was sold at a Christie's auction in Geneva for 1,005,600 Swiss francs, but its current whereabouts are unknown. Emerald earrings and brooch. In 1902, Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna presented her daughter, Elena Vladimirovna, with a brooch featuring a round cabochon emerald and a magnificent pair of earrings with matching emeralds from her personal collection. On her wedding day in 1923, Princess Olga inherited this elegant set. She not only wore these jewels herself, but also lent them to her second niece-in-law, Barbara von Unzu Liechtenstein. However, eventually the emerald earrings were sold at a Sotheby's auction in 1987, and the brooch in 1990. The earrings were purchased by the 11th Prince Johannes von Thurn und Taxis for his wife, Gloria. After his death, the princess had to sell the jewelry due to enormous debts. Princess Olga's emerald earrings were once again auctioned and sold to an unknown buyer. Crown-shaped brooch. In honor of his coronation in 1896, the Russian Emperor Nicholas II commissioned 18 diamond brooches in the shape of the imperial crown to gift to the Grand Duchesses and Princesses of Russia. Among them was an ornament he bestowed upon his first cousin, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna, Princess of Greece and Denmark. Elena Vladimirovna always honored the memory of her brother. The original brooch adorned her bodice at her daughter, Princess Marina of Greece's wedding to Prince George, Duke of Kent, in 1934. However, by the time of Princess Marina's wedding, the brooch no longer belonged to Elena Vladimirovna, as the year before, her son-in-law, Pavle Karadordovic, had acquired it. Princess Olga complimented her ensembles for official portraits with the diamond crown-shaped brooch, pairing it with magnificent diamond tiaras from her collection. After Princess Olga's death in 1997, the brooch passed down to her eldest son, Prince Alexander. The coronation gift from the last Emperor of Russia adorned Alexander's wife, Princess Barbara. It is likely one of the few family jewels that still remain with the Karadordovic family. Diamond Earrings In addition to the captivating emerald earrings, Princess Olga's jewellery box also held diamond earrings that emerged in the 1950s. The origin of this piece is unknown, but it features a floral design crafted from round-cut diamonds set on a platinum base in the shape of a cluster. These are far from the only diamond earrings belonging to Princess Olga. Her photographs reveal her wearing sizable, drop-shaped ornaments adorned with diamonds, pearls, and other precious stones. The former Yugoslav Queen's jewelry collection remains impressive. According to online sources, the earrings were inherited by the wife of Olga's eldest son, Barbara.